Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 noise canceling wireless headphones. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 700 bucks. I repeat, 700 bucks. Now on a side note, do not shoot the messenger, okay? I do not make the prices. If it was up to me, all of this stuff would be 99 bucks. But it's not up to me, okay? Now, I took a lot of heat the other day when I did my Diamond Box XL3 video. A lot of people did not like the price. Again, I do not make the prices. All I do is buy the products, review them, and give y'all my honest opinions, okay? Now, 700 bucks, I know that's pretty high, but it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. All right, <laughs> I had to get that out. All right, so let's go through the features real quick. Now, this one comes in three different colors. You got black, tan and they have the 007 edition which is navy blue now on a side note if you get the 007 edition that one's going to run you an extra 100 bucks okay so you're looking at 800 bucks <laughs> now these are bluetooth version 5.2 the codex is aptx hd and aptx adaptive now you got 40 millimeter carbon cone drivers and a 24-bit dsp you got six mics that's gonna give you top tier active noise cancellation and crystal clear phone calls. Now these are made from premium materials, aluminum and Nappa leather. Now you got your physical touch controls. The battery life on these is 30 hours on a two hour charge. I repeat, it takes two hours to fully charge up and you're gonna get 30 hours worth of playtime. Now these also have quick charge. 15 minutes of charge will give you seven hours worth of playtime. Now you also have an app that's available for Android and iOS that lets you customize the settings. All right, so all of that for 700 bucks, let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, 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 I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down. Okay, now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer two questions. Number one, are these really worth 700 bucks? And number two, how do I rank these versus my top five? Now, just in case you haven't been watching my videos, let me show y'all my top five over-the-ear wireless headphones with active noise cancellation. Number one on my list, I'm going with the Master and Dynamics MW75s. Now, you can get the regular ones if you want, or you can get the AMG edition with the carbon fiber, <laughs> okay? These are number one on my list, okay? Top tier noise cancellation, but the best sounding ones that I got. Number two on my list, we got the classics, AirPod Max. Okay, the AirPod Max, now these are a little bit on the older side, but these are still my number two over-the-air headphones with active noise cancellation, premium build materials. Okay, now, that's one of the things that's big in my book. I like premium build. A lot of y'all like now, and again, we could debate this, a lot of y'all like the thinnest and lightest headphones on the market. I like my headphones to have premium build materials. Okay, so the AirPod Pros, uh, AirPod Max, that's number two. Number three on my list, I'm going with the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. Now, this is what I'm talking about, that plastic build quality. I'm not really the biggest fan of these, but again, if you're going to wear these all day long, you might want something that's a little bit lighter. But personally, I like better build quality. Okay, so number three on my list, I'm going with the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. Number four on my list. God tier noise cancellation, the Sony M5s. Okay, these have the strongest level of active noise cancellation. Now, I don't care about sound quality. If I'm ranking these based on just active noise cancellation, the Sony's would be number one and the Bose would be number two. But I got to rank these in overall. All right, for overall sound quality, noise cancellation, and build quality, the Sony M5s, I'm going with uh, number four on my list. All right, shoes. Shoes is in rare form. All right, shoes, I need you to skedaddle. And number five, underrated, I'm going with the Techniques A800s. Okay, these are number five on my list. I would put these right up there with the Sonys, right up there with the Sennheisers, better than the Bose, okay? Underrated, but still appreciated. Okay, the Techniques A800s. All right, so those are my top five. Let's see if the uh, PX8s can crack that list. Okay, so let's grab a little unboxing knife. What we got today, we got the uh, John Wick Special. Hold up. Ah, there it is. Let's get the poking. Okay. Now, let's see. Did I miss anything? 
over-the-air headphones with ultra-low distortion, carbon fiber driver units for class-leading sound quality, plus EQ adjustment for personalized listening. Okay, stream all the music you love in high-res resolution quality, then personalize your listening experience with the Bowers & Wilkins Music app. Let's see, uh, fast charging, long battery life, 30 hours, luxurious premium finish, plus lightweight compact design, complete with a full range of headphone controls for effortless day-to-day -day use. Effortless, effortless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's one of the words that always gets me, effortless. Okay, Qualcomm APTX adapter. Okay, now 700 bucks, we're gonna have to enjoy this one. Let's see how this presentation is, okay? Nice little slide off, okay? Bowers and Wilkins, <laughs> okay? Let's open this up. Okay, inside, let's take a look at the case first. Okay, let's see, is there anything else in here? This should be your usual books and shit, but let's go ahead and make sure. Okay, so you got the quick start guide, safety and warranty, plug them and follow. Okay, now for the case, Hard shell, Bowers and Wilkins Brandon. Okay, nice leather zipper. We gotta check all these details. Okay, nice zippage. Okay, nice. check the zippage. Okay, quality zippage. On the inside, okay, these are gonna be your headphones. Let's uh, get this little foam off, okay. Let's see, inside of this, you're gonna get your USB Type-C to 3.5 cable for wired listening. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. A little poison for the trolls. Let me go ahead and file that. And this is gonna be a charging cable. USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Now inside the case, they have this little flap right here. Perfect for storing your cables. I shoes, oh, shoes, you wasn't finished? Oh, I'm sorry, I, hold on. Shoes wanted to make sure, I you, you finished? I, I checked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 hold on. My bad, y'all, my bad. Shoes wasn't finished inspecting. All right, shoes, you're done, you're done. Let's get that out. <laughs> All right, now, let me get serious. 700 bucks, we can't be playing around with these. These are the PX8s. First, let's do the dome test, okay? Now, if you got a big size dome, these should fit. Let's see, look at that Nappa leather. Okay, let me do the smell test on this. Mmm! Mmm! Y'all know how I feel about leather. This is not just regular leather, this is that Nappa leather. Okay, so you got Nappa leather on your ear cups and on your headband. Okay, let's see, soft, soft presses on this ice shoes. <laughs> Okay, let's see the air cups. You see, I had to take it to the um, old black people voice rooms. All right, let's see, let's see, air cups, nice and soft. Okay, look at that memory foam. I like that. Left and right branding. Now these do swivel, they do not fold up. Okay, they're just gonna swivel back and forth. All of this aluminium. Okay, now this is what I like to see. Now, as far as the weight, surprisingly, they're not that heavy. They're not that heavy, and I know, that's why a lot of y'all like the Sonys and the Sennheisers, because y'all want that plastic build quality, because it seems like it's lighter on your head. But these really ain't that heavy. I, they really ain't that heavy. And again, my personal opinion, I like to have that premium feel, especially if I'm dropping 700 bucks. I hate to pull out something and it feels like cheap garbage plastic. I hate that feeling. For 700 bucks, I want aluminum and Nappa leather. Okay, now here's a USB Type-C charging slot. Multifunctional buttons. Okay, now you see some separation on this button. Has the ridges on it. Okay, we'll play with all those buttons in a minute. And you got a physical on and off switch. Okay, I heard a little tone. Now they're in Bluetooth pairing mode. Okay, Bowers and Wilkins. <laughs> Aluminium on the ear cups on the outside. Beautiful quality headphones. All right, so let's grab a phone and then we'll pair these up. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so now that we got the headphones paired up, let's take a look at the Bowers & Wilkins Music app. Now it shows you the name of the headphones, you got your battery percentage, you can toggle your noise cancellation on and off, you can turn on pass-through, or you can just turn that off altogether and save some battery. Now you can also add another device, you can link some of your music streaming services, so you got Deezer, Tidal, and uh, Cobuzz, okay? Now let's go through uh, some of the tone controls. Okay, so you can add your treble, you can add your bass. Of course, I'm gonna do maximum, all right, I won't start off with maximum bass, but I like a lot of treble. Okay, there's your connections, your environmental controls, you got auto standby. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. You got wear sensors, I'm gonna leave that off. That means when you're wearing your headphones, you take them off, that automatically pause your music, put them on, your music will resume. Streaming quality, 
Okay, so you got reduced data or highest. We'll leave it on highest. You can uh, rename your product, and then you got factory reset. And let's see, what else you got support? Okay, your quick start guide and your facts. Let's see, anything else? And a quick start guide. Okay, so the app is simple and straightforward. All right, so now let's go through the physical touch control buttons. On the left side, this is multifunctional. This will turn on active noise cancellation, ambient sound mode, and your voice assistant. Now on the right side, you got three buttons. The one in the middle with the ridges on it, that's a multifunctional button that'll answer and end phone calls. Okay, play and pause your music. It also skip and reverse tracks. Now you got volume up and down and your Bluetooth pairing button, USB Type-C charging slot. Simple enough. All right, so now let's slap these on and we'll do a little sound test. All right, so before I do the sound test, let me talk about the look, the fit, and the feel. First of all, when you put these on your head, okay, those ear cups with that soft nap of leather, they're gonna feel like a set of titties pressed on your head. Y'all know how I love that feeling. Let me show you how they look. Ultra premium. Not too heavy. Again, you would think these are gonna be some heavyweight aluminum headphones. Not at all. Nice and lightweight, but that premium materials and that soft nap of leather, you're gonna love it. Okay, I could easily see myself wearing these for a full six hour flight. Now, let me find some music. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got OMG by Ursher featuring Will I Am. On a side note, this is my birthday anthem. All right, when I turned 35 years old, this was my joint. All right, so we're gonna rock this one at maximum volume. I got active noise cancellation turned on. And just for fun, I went to the EQ and I put maximum treble and maximum bass because that's how I like to do it. All right, Birdman hands rubbing together. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing because I actually wanna hear these. But I got the mic just in case. One tap for playing pause. Let's get it on. Okay. <laughs> Now, let me say this. The fit of these headphones is so dope. I love that already. Hold up. I did it again, so I'ma let the beat drop. Okay, here we go. Oh my, baby, let me love you. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. There's so many ways to love you. Baby, I can break you down. There's so many ways to love you. Got me like, oh my gosh, though in love. I found you finally. You make me wanna say, oh, 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 oh. Yo, these sound so dope. Oh, 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 oh. The clarity on these. Oh my God, the clarity. Oh, oh, I hear from that bass drop. Oh, 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 I fell in love with Shorty when I seen her on the dance floor. Yo, oh my God, it's party mode. <laughs> Never ever had a funny thing like this. This was something special. This was just like dynamite. She <laughs> had a booty like, wow, wow, wow. Honey's got some boobies like, wow, oh, wow. I don't even know I'm loving you, loving your style. <laughs> Check, 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 checking you out like, oh, she got it all. Sexy from my head. Okay, hold up. I am wild. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pause this. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, whew. Okay, let me calm down. Let me tell you something, man. You know, you know, <laughs> there's a reason why companies charge a lot of money for premium <laughs> premium products, okay? Now look, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, what about the Soundcore Space 40s and the one more, what about the one more Sono, the Sono headphones for 99 bucks? Those are dope, don't get me wrong, those are dope. But there's something different, man. It's, it's, it's just something different about putting on a set of real headphones and hearing some real high quality music. Bro, the clarity on these headphones are blowing me away. Now here's what I gotta do. <sighs> I got I got I got to do a bass test. Let me find a little let me find a song with some bass real quick. Hold up. All right, so we're going to take it over to Nipsey Hussle Blue Laces 2. Okay, now this is my bass test song. Okay, here it goes. Oh baby, it's been so long. Okay, let me let me put my seatbelt on. Oh, here it goes. 
That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, the clarity. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Mogul and they know that. Yo, do y'all hear this? Yo, yeah, uh, uh, okay, let me, let me pause it, let me pause it. Let me pause it. Okay, okay. Now nah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I know I'm, I'm just hype. I'm having too much fun. But honestly, I would say when it comes to the bass, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more testing. I think the Sennheisers might have a little bit more bass. Right? They might have a little bit more bass, but I'm gonna have to tweak the EQ settings and play with a few things real quick. But so far, the clarity of these headphones was, is what's really blowing me away. Now, I am by no means an audiophile, and I don't try to pretend to be one, okay? I just like listening to loud music with a lot of bass, and I like to have a lot of highs and mids. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna really talk about sound stages and all that other, you know, complicated music jargon, okay? I just like my music to be crystal clear and have heart-pounding bass. And these headphones are delivering. <laughs> they are delivering. But I think the thing that's really getting me, though, is the build quality. I love the way these feel. These ear cups, my ears are inside the ear cups, so they're surrounded by this soft, supple, you gotta use that word, supple, nice, supple leather, okay? They don't feel extra heavy on my head. And I, I, I could just easily rock these all day now. I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna play a few more songs, and then we'll do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you turn them off? Okay, so let's see. Let's go to uh, Bluetooth. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. Let's go ahead and power them off. Okay, they disconnected. Let's turn them back on. Okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> right when it said three Mississippi, it said boom, ba -da boom. Okay, so three Mississippis. That's pretty fast. All right, so now let's check the physical touch controls, which on a side note, I like so much better than touch capacitive buttons because you can actually feel each button. Now with touch capacitive, sometimes you don't know if you're double pressing or triple pressing, swiping left and right. No, you're never gonna miss this button with the ridges and you're never gonna miss this button. All right, so let's try them out. Okay, one tap for playing pause. Okay, you see the music is playing. Okay, now we just paused it. Now we're gonna press it twice to skip to the next song. Okay, press it three times to go to the previous track. Okay, now you got volume up and down. You see the actual volume going up and down. And the button on the left. Now you can customize that for voice control or active noise cancellation. Now I turn mine to voice control, so one press. What's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, so all of the touch controls work. And again, if you want, you can customize this button to have voice control or active noise cancellation on, off, and ambient sound mode. All right, so now let me check the call quality. Now, usually I would call up Amaya, but she's in our practice right now. So I'm gonna call up my girl. Okay. Okay, it's actually ringing. Hi, baby. <laughs> I know, yeah, surprise. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I check this out. Now, I'm making a video. You know, usually I would call Amaya and, you know, break Amaya's chops, but Amaya's in Chile to practice, so I got to put you to work real quick, yo. All right. How do, how do I sound? Sounds clear? Okay. Now, are you using a phone or using a headset? Okay, using an iPhone? You got an iPhone um, 12 Pro Max or you got the 13? <laughs> <laughs> you got an iPhone 8? All right, I'm gonna have to call you back. I right, put the iPhone 8 down. I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> All right, let, me, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. All right, but it sounds good though. All right, check this out. I gotta. I right, hold up. I gotta do. I gotta do the wind test. Let me get maximum windage. All right, what about now? You hear anything? You don't hear no wind at all. Hold on. Let me make sure that was on max. That was maximum windage. You don't hear nothing at all. Okay, so you would you would be comfortable having a full conversation like this with no issues. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay, so this sounds good then. How would you rank these on a scale of one to ten? Uh, like, like about a nine. Okay, okay, I respect that. I respect that. All right, so let me get let me get back to work. I'm gonna text you in a minute. All right, bye. Okay, 
Call quality your knees, epic. Okay, epic eye shoes, can you? <laughs> Call quality is epic. And since your ear is gonna be surrounded in this ear cup, you're not gonna hear any wind noise. Now, I had the Brookstone fan just like this, pressed up against my ear cup, and she didn't hear no different sound. I didn't hear um, any different sound either. So again, I would rank these as top tier uh, headphones for talking on the phone. Now, we have to test active noise cancellation. All right, so this is the most annoying test on YouTube, the baby crying test. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I got the headphones on, and right now I'm using pass-through mode. I'm gonna put on the baby crying, and then I'm gonna switch to A and C without any music. Okay, so let's see how that sounds first. Okay, so here's the baby crying. I hear every single sound. I'm gonna switch to noise cancellation. Okay, <laughs> all right, hold up. All right, now without any music on, when I switched to noise cancellation, you definitely heard the noise cancellation kick in, but you will still obviously hear the baby crying at a full maximum cryage. <laughs> maximum cryage. All right, let's get some music. Let me find something. Okay. Now, let's try that again. Okay, now, I got on a volume max. Okay. Okay, my music is bumping. Snapper. I can't help. I can't help it. These niggas, I swear they help shit. Can I help it? Help shit. Oh, how to the rich out of milk. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Hold up. All right. Hey, shut up. Okay. <laughs> now, as far as the in the house baby crying test, this passed with flying colors. Now, I had my music on at maximum volume. I did not hear one single sound of the baby crying. So in my opinion, that puts these as top tier noise cancellation. Now I've done this test dozens of times with different sets of headphones. And if the headphones don't have top tier noise cancellation, you will still hear a hint of the baby crying through your music and through ANC. With these headphones on, okay, ANC, music at volume, uh, volume max, I did not hear the baby crying. Now, in order to really complete this, I gotta go outside and sit in my loud ass car and I wanna test out the uh, ambient sound mode and try to have a conversation with somebody without taking the headphones off. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I just came back from sitting outside in the car testing out active noise cancellation and ambient sound mode, and here's the results. As far as ambient sound mode, no issues at all. Once you turn that on, you'll easily be able to have a conversation with somebody without taking your headphones off. Now, of course, you're gonna have a little bit of that robotic sound to your voice, but no issues, okay, it does work. Now, as far as noise cancellation, y'all know my tier level. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. I would rank these as top tier, but I will say this. The Sonys and the Bose, those are still God tier, and even the uh, AirPod Max, I would say have a little bit more noise cancellation. These, they are not God tier noise cancellation, but they're easily top tier, easily. I would have no issues taking these on the flight, and sitting right on the wing next to the engine with a baby crying right next to me, I would still be able to drown all of that out. Now I will say this though, if I'm looking for <laughs> if I'm looking for the top of the top tier noise cancellation, then you still gotta go with Sony and you gotta go with Bose. But when it comes to sound quality, I would take these over the Sony's and the Bose. Now there's one more thing I wanna do. I wanna try these out with an iPhone. Okay, that doesn't have aptX HD or aptX adaptive. We're gonna see how this sounds using the uh, Apple Codex lossless system. All right, so I just paired these up to an iPhone and did a little bit of testing, and honestly, you will hear the difference. Okay, you will hear the difference between an Android phone with aptX HD and an iPhone. You will hear the difference. Now, it's not a mind-blowing difference, but you're definitely gonna hear the difference. I would say if you got an iPhone, I wouldn't recommend spending 700 bucks on these because you're not gonna really be able to use them to their full potential. Okay, so if you got an iPhone, go with the AirPod Max. Okay, this way you can enjoy that lossless music. But if you do happen to get these and you got an iPhone, they're gonna sound great. They're just not gonna sound as great as they do on an Android phone. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so now let's check for latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Now I got it on Netflix. Let's try to watch a little dumber. Okay. Now, honestly, 
There is a little bit of delay. Uh, Truth! Uh, there is a little bit of delay. Yeah. Now, there's a little bit of delay. Let's take it over to YouTube and see if we can watch a YouTube video. And see, now that, 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 that's kind of wild, right? A little bit of delay. Let's pull up uh, Larry David Lampin. Okay. Let's take it over to you. Okay. No, there's a little bit of delay. There's a little bit of delay. Wow, this now this is actually a lot of delay. Let's 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 see if we can resync this. No, there's a little bit of delay. Look, I'm gonna see if y'all can hear it for yourself. We got boss. That's a boss shirt. Oh man. Huh? You see the delay? Oh shit. Keep that bullshit. Boss is <laughs> boss isn't happening, is it? Huh? Hey, I wouldn't even say that shit by mistake. Yeah. There's a little bit of delay. My assistant. Okay, so these might not be the best for watching your videos. All right, so before I rank these, let me talk about everything that I don't like. Number one, the EQ, okay? You only got bass and treble. They need to have a mid, okay? There's no mid-range EQ. Number two, the latency. Now, I tried this off camera. All of my video apps, there's a little bit of delay when you're watching videos. So these are not gonna be the best headphones to use watching your videos wirelessly. Now, if you use the wired connection, then you're getting zero latency, but you're gonna lose a little bit of sound. Other than that, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the Bowles and Wilkins PX8s a major, major, major go. The build quality is epic. Napa leather, aluminum everywhere. These are lightweight, but they're gonna give you that premium feel that you're gonna love. The fit of these, when your ears get surrounded by these ear cups, you're gonna understand why you're paying that money. The sound quality is awesome, okay? The highs and the mids, crystal clear, deep, rich, clean bass, no issues at all. The phone call quality was great, okay? The touch controls, physical buttons, I love that. The battery life on these, 30 hours, that's pretty dope. Active noise cancellation, top tier, okay? Ambient sound mode, top tier. These are an all around win, but how would I rank these? Okay, how would I rank these versus my top five? Let me answer those two questions. Number one, are these worth 700 bucks? And I will say yes, okay? Remember, you gotta pay to play. When you want those premium materials, they are not gonna come cheap. But it's not like you're just paying for the name and you're paying for premium materials. These actually deliver with the sound quality. I love them. But here's gonna, here's gonna be my top five. Number one on my list. I'm still going with the MW75s. Now, as far as a premium battle, when it comes to premium materials, <laughs> these are neck and neck, even though the ear cups, the ear cups are a little bit softer, okay? A little bit softer than the mw 75 You see these have more of a stiffer kind of feel to it, but they still feel ultra premium. Okay, the, the AMG, not just because I'm a car guy. I'm actually a BMW kind of guy, but you know, <laughs> carbon fiber. These are still number one, the sound quality in these, the app control, the app support. These are just the top of the food chain. That's number one on my list. Number two on my list, I'm still going with the AirPod Max. Okay, I, I if you got an iPhone, <laughs> forget everything else. If you got an iPhone, get these, okay? Get these, trust me. Okay, these are number two on my list. So let's do it like that. Number three on my list, I'm going with the PX8s. Okay, these are my new number threes. And if you see the theme going, I like the premium feeling headphones the best. These are number three on my list. Okay, number four and five, I think you know what it is. Number four, I gotta go with the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. Now these are, <laughs> these are, if these had the premium build quality, I probably would rank these a little bit higher but they just feel like they just have that flimsy plastic build to it. I, I, I'm just not sold, but they actually are pretty dope. They sound amazing. And number five, God tier noise cancellation, Sony M5s. Okay, those are my tops. But again, let's take it back to the PX8s, okay? The PX8s, these are triple major go. Now, let me see, as far as the price, I think these should be 600. Now, I would I would I would pay 700 because after using them and enjoying them right now, okay, yeah, I get it. But I would say I wish these was 600. If these were 600, even 500, 500, I don't know, 500 might be a little too cheap for these materials. 
six hundred. These should be about six hundred, seven hundred bucks. Eh, so they kind of stretching it. The 007s at 800 bucks, I would say no. Unless you're the biggest James Bond fan right, on the planet and you really want those blue colors, then spend the 800. Other than that, though, they're gonna sound exactly like these. Save 100 bucks and just go with the black and um and write, write 007 on the side. Anyway, let's get and wrap this up. Like I said, these are triple major go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Do something. Spock won the beam up. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.